Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Now I just obviously released a video of another confirmed contestant and now Love Highland have actually just released the official trailer of all the contestants. So expect basically many Love Island updates and videos in relation to whenever new information comes out. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel, click that button for daily consistent content, I'd massively appreciate it. And do follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali, to listen to see what this cast is saying and hopefully they're lit. Ooh, I'm nervous. Let's just see what they're saying. Oh, this is like this. Okay. Oh, can't sit Obviously, a blonde girl. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Amy. I'm Anton. I'm Amber. Helen. Anna. Drew. Curtis. I'm Lucy. Michael. You are Nate. Tommy. <laughs> it's getting confusing. Okay. There's always one box head looks very sad. Okay, you one day. Looks and personality wise, I'd say I'm a 10. Okay, Wes. I would say a humble 9, but being a hero can I said humble 9. I'm ten. Oh, my best life because you just know who I am. I do like to get my own way most of the time. She does look cute. That fussy looks wise, as long as I have that initial attraction. What is this hard thing, man? Well, like, with the, I'll stick a ring on it. A bit long before, you know. Well, this is love, I'm flight to dinner. She needs to relax, like I'm over it. really fast paced. You're here, there, and everywhere, which makes no, my friend really impossible. The way I pack up girls in the club. Okay, I'm always getting the nicest looking girl out of all my friends. In the villa this year, you're probably going to hear some new and weird words. Bev, Bev and Stout, fluffed off, fluff. Oh, yeah, okay. There is 70% of young persons. I feel like he'll work like well on the house. Music, music, absolutely love it in that. Having Middle Eastern parents. Okay, I'm Middle Eastern. At that age now where they are on my case. Like, you're 28 years old, and like, you need to find someone. You need to get married. You need to have kids. Friends are type kid. I feel like he'll be a popular one. A few years ago. You'll be, be like Ken from last year. Yes, you won. Your lady is looking mad good. Oh, Aaron Shanks as well. I'm related to the best heavyweight in the world, Tyson Fury. Oh my days. I'm a shot like this now. All for about a year and a half. I'm labelled as a bit of a player where I'm from. Not because I'm too tired, but just because I just don't really waste time. I guess I'm fun. Why are you dancing? Fun, fun. Fun. Pretty flamboyant. Good fun. That's what we're saying. Crazy. Slightly crazy. Cheeky. What the hell is this? Spontaneous. I'm going on Love Island, hopefully to find love, but also find a gorgeous girl with a nice bum to take home to Marvel. You've got to get out of the run to play the game. To Love Island in the hopes of finding love and finding, you know, love. She seems sweet. But really and truly. All the other lads shredded. With a few exceptions. Most of this cars just looks like trash. This year is going to be dead. This year is going to be so dead. I'd rather waste my time watching Countdown than this shit. What kind of cast is this, man? Bloody hell. So we have it. We have the cast of Love Island 2019, the opening cast. Remember, a lot of people do come into it. Now, what are your thoughts? I think truly that it's going to be a dead season, with a few exceptions, a few cute people here and there. I really don't think it's going to be a great season. Um, I feel like some of these costumes are a bit dry, especially the air hostess and stuff like that. Like, I just feel like it's not going to bang like last year. I feel like the value of the show and the addictive kind of nature that people have to it is slowly starting to dry up. Because really and truly, I feel like this type of this cast is just dead. Hopefully, they seem to be like a fun, chill group, or hopefully there's a lot of drama to keep us entertained, because really and truly, I'm not really looking forward to most of it. Do let me know what you guys think, what are your thoughts, who are your favourites, who are your, you know, uh, people that you dislike the most. I feel like Yuanda is going to be one of my favourites, Yuanda, and, um, wow. What are their names? Wow. And, that, and, um... The Melissa girl, I feel like she might have potential, but I feel like she's just doing too much. I feel like, you know, you're already there with the lip side, just everything's just a bit like, relax, you know, just, just take it easy. I feel like she's doing, she's going to be doing the most to, you know, when you really and truly, you don't need to be doing the most. And I feel like there was another white boy, I feel like, who did like Kem, I feel like he might be okay, he might be easy with the crowd, and the Scottish guy is awesome, like he would be okay. But um, I don't know, this cast really, really isn't doing much for me. Let me know if it's doing a lot for you, if you guys, you know, actually like this cast or not. Do hit me up on my Instagram, please, Murad and Murali, and then do subscribe to my channel. Click that button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'd massively appreciate it. Comment down below and let me know who your favourites are and who are your 
dislikes, who you don't like on this particular um, show, if you are liking this cast in general, or if you're just disliking them, if you think it's dead. A lot of people online, especially on Twitter, are saying this cast is trash. They're saying they're not that great. Um, they did say a lot of body um, diversity in terms of that perspective, and that really wasn't being seen either. Um, I just feel like Love Island are now slowly like becoming a bit dry. I don't know why I feel like, like I was so hyped for the show, and then I'm seeing the majority of this cast, and I'm just like, like it's just missing, it's missing something. You know what I mean? When something's just missing, and you're just, you you just can't like, like it's just like, like you know when you're cooking food and you're cooking food for such a long time that by the time the food is now ready, you're full. Like you're just not even in the mood for it now. I love to eat. Like I feel like it's that that anticipation now has really dried up. Nevertheless, obviously I'm still going to watch it just to see what, what happens and hopefully it will live up to its expectations. Not that I feel like it has any now for me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this particular video? My reaction? Um, are you here for it? Are you not? Comment down below. I would appreciate it and I'll catch you guys soon.